A House Spider's Life, written and illustrated by John Himmelman. For five legs, the house spider that lived above my desk while I worked on this book. A young house spider crawls out of an egg sack. She joins the other spiderlings in her mother's web. The spiderlings stay together for several weeks. A housefly lands on the web. It breaks free. The spider leg, the spiderling is carried away. She lands on a bookshelf and weaves her own little web of silk. The young spider is strong enough to catch a small insect. She wraps it in silk so it can't get away. The young spider sheds her skin many times as she grows. Soon, she is a full-grown spider. A yellow jacket flies into her web. They fight a dangerous battle. The house spider wins. Now she has enough food for a week. The spider spends the evening fixing her web. In the morning, a vacuum cleaner sucks it away. The house spider escapes by dropping to the floor. She climbs up the stairs and walks into a bedroom. She crawls up a wall and finds the perfect spot for a new web. A male house spider finds her new web. After the spider's mate, the male leaves. Soon, the house spider lays eggs. She wraps them in a silk egg sack. In a few weeks, her spiderlings crawl out. Eventually, the spiderlings leave the mother's web. But the bedroom will be her home for the rest of her days. And the rest of her nights. Word do you know. Egg sack, a group of eggs wrapped in silk. The silk keeps the eggs safe. House fly, a flying insect commonly found in homes. Silk, a thread-like material that spiders use to move from place to place, build webs, wrap their eggs, and catch insects. Spiderling, the first stage of a spider's life. Yellow jacket, a stinging insect that is closely related to bees and wasps. That was A House Spider's Life by John Himmelman. And this is EDU Kids Space. Subscribe for more books, stories, and lessons. And if there's something in particular you'd like to hear about, leave us a message in the comments.